Hey everyone, so in this video, we are just gonna make a new layer from an existing layer. It's not particularly difficult, but sometimes it can be a little bit confusing, but this is an important task. As you can see, I've got this layer here, and by the way, this data was taken from the Gore and Kirkland GIS tutorial book one, so it's their data set. And in this data set, I have this neighborhood here, and it's pretty big. And what I want to do is select just a portion of the neighborhood and make a new layer from it. And then I'll be able to use that new layer for a variety of things. I can create a mask with it. I can do a study site with it. So taking a bigger layer and partitioning it, partitioning it to something smaller is oftentimes a useful task. And so let me open up the attribute table really quickly of this layer here called neighborhoods. And when I open up this table, you're gonna see that there's a lot of hoods <laughs> in the neighborhoods. So we've got 94 different neighborhoods, but all I wanna do is pull out maybe four neighborhoods for us to have further study. So I'm just gonna click on the map tab and from the map tab, I'm going to select by app. And here I'm just gonna have neighborhoods as my input row. And I'm just gonna have a new selection as my selection type. If you click this pull down menu, you've got a variety of different options here, but we're just doing a brand new selection from this particular layer. Here, I'm gonna add a clause and the clause is gonna be where hood, if you remember that's the neighborhood, is equal to, and the four that I'm gonna select, one of them is gonna be called Hazelwood but that's not the only neighborhood. I'm gonna be picking about four neighborhoods from this major selection here of this layer. I'm gonna click add clause and my description isn't gonna be and, it's gonna be or. So I'm gonna have four different neighborhoods. If I selected and, then the metadata would have to say it's Hazelwood and it's this city and in this other neighborhood and it's this other neighborhood. We don't wanna do any of that. We want Hazelwood or this other neighborhood, or this other neighborhood, or this other neighborhood. You see where I'm getting at. So you just got to be sure that you're using the right designator here, the right syntax for what you want to do. So we're going back to hood is equal to, and then the other one is going to be called Glen Hazel. We're going to add a clause, or the hood is going to equal um, green field. We're gonna add one more clause or the hood is gonna equal squirrel hill south. We want squirrel hill south. So there we go and we're gonna click okay. So now you'll notice that these four neighborhoods that I just selected are highlighted here on the map. So again, I've got all these neighborhoods. I've just selected this one right here. You'll notice if I turn neighborhoods on and off, everything is turned on and off, but the selection is still highlighted. What I want to do is create a new layer from that selection. So I'm just going to right click on neighborhoods. I'm going to come down to selection and then I'm going to come over to make layer from selected features. And once I do that, you'll notice I get my new layer here on the contents pane. I'm going to make it something um, that I understand, <laughs> that I won't forget, uh, which is Amano Neighborhoods. And that's it. So now if I turn this one off, the major neighborhood layer, this guy, Almona, is still there. And if I right click on this attribute table, here it is, I should have my four rows because I have my four neighborhoods. And that's it. So that's how you create a new layer from an existing layer. You're just doing a select by attribute. That tends to work really well. And now I can use this layer for something else. And the next thing I'm gonna use this layer for is an extract by mask. So I'm gonna extract only the information within this layer of this DEM, but that's gonna be for another video. Okay, until next time, bye-bye.